Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part eight of my WordPress featured content tutorial, where I'll teach you how to make this featured content tool that you see right here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to refer to pages multiple times. What I mean by pages is the pages of this featured content tool here. And whenever I click on the arrow tool, as you can see here, I'm switching to pages. So I have a total of three pages. So I just wanted to go over that before I jump into the code. And then these would be the individual posts, an individual post title, an excerpt. This is the featured image. Here are the featured thumbnails. And this is read more. And then again, these are all of the separate pages that contain all those thumbnails and featured content and all that other stuff stuff. Okay, now into the code. Okay, well from the last tutorial, which if you haven't seen it, definitely watch it before you proceed here, otherwise definite confusion will ensue. We ended with the end while, and what I'm trying to do here is create all this stuff over here dynamically by pulling all this information from the WordPress database, but it sounded way more confusing than it really is. What I'm gonna do first off is I have to create my pages, which I just told you what those were, and how I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go NTT underscore I is equal to one, and I'm just gonna create this for loop, and it's gonna cycle through what are three pages in this situation, but this does work if there's only one page or if there is two pages, obviously. And then NTT NOMFC pages is a reference to how many pages are stored. That's a variable, that's all that is. And I'm gonna go NTT I, and then I'm gonna increment it at the end there. So that's all I'm doing with that for loop. And then I'm gonna end this for loop tab in here. Then I'm gonna define my first post number. So there's five posts per page, five posts associated with each page, as you can see here. So what I gotta do is cycle through and figure out what this guy is right here. So if this is the first page, this is gonna be the first thumbnail. This is gonna be the sixth, and then you go seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the third page, this turtle here is gonna be the eleventh. So I have to define what that's gonna be. So how I do that is go NTT underscore I and multiply whatever that is times five and then subtract four from it. If there is only one page, NTTI, times five is gonna give me five, which is gonna give me minus four is gonna to equal to one. So the first post is gonna be the first post. And then what if there's a second page, this is gonna have the value of two, multiply that times that, and then you can see how all these other different things are gonna fall in line. And then I'm also going to create or establish what my ending post is gonna be. And I'm gonna find that in much the same way. Just multiply it times five, don't subtract the four, and there you go, I got all those. Now I'm gonna initialize the beginning of the page with the first title and all this stuff that you see up here. So I have to create all that dynamically. So I'm gonna go NTT FC page is equal to, I'm gonna go div class is equal to NTT. And all this code is available in a link in the underbar if you want it. You can do anything you want with it. It's GNU license, so you can edit it, do whatever. You don't even have to give me credit for creating it. Don't care. All right, so, and then basically what I'm doing is I'm just plugging in all this HTML that's on the right side of your screen. If you can't see it, you can display this full screen and you'll be able to see it better because it's an HD movie. And then we go NTT. And because I created all of this stuff in the previous part of this tutorial, I can jump in here and grab this title. And it's a, it says shark here, but I want this to be dynamic. So it's gonna grab whatever the real title is. And I stored that in an array in the previous tutorial. So I go NTT, start post, because it's gonna put the first post title in there by default whenever we first start out. And all this stuff's gonna later on be dynamically created or edited using jQuery. Div, and I'm gonna close off that div, equal to NTT. I'm gonna throw in a horizontal rule. And I'm just copying all the HTML from the right side of the screen. Nothing that fancy. Create another div. Give it a class equal to NTT article excerpt. So I got all that defined inside of there. And now I'm gonna create all of these article excerpts that are inside of here. So I gotta create five of these. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna create a for loop, NTT. I'm gonna create a new junk variable called J, NTT, start post. I'm gonna give it the value of whatever the starting post value is. As long as we don't get to the value of the end post, I know that I need to create five of these guys. And then I'm gonna auto increment that. And then I'm gonna create all these excerpts that you see over here on the right side of the screen. Just by copying the HTML. So I'm gonna go NTT. FC underscore page. I'm adding NTT FC page is gonna be all of this stuff on the right side of the screen, everything. So I have to append to it. I'm gonna do, put a P inside of there. Then I'm gonna go to title, and then I'm gonna close that off. And I gotta replace all the spaces in the title with dashes. So that's pretty easy to do. Great title, do a string replace. And then I wanna replace the spaces with dashes. So there, just did that. And what do I wanna do that for? I wanna do it on FC info, which is the title in the array, underscore J. And the zero index for that is the title. And then I gotta make all the characters in the title lowercase. So NTT temp 
idle is equal to, if I want to make it go to lowercase, I call this inside of PHP, str2 lower, ntt, temp, title. And then I want to place the title into the title attribute for this paragraph. So it's going to go right after this line right here. So I'm going to go ntt, fc, page. Since I'm adding to it, I'm going to put the dot operator inside of there, ntt, temp, title and then close that off. And then I'm going to continue adding to this. So I'm going to go fc page dot operator equal to ntt fc, the array that has all my information in it that I need, ntt underscore j. And this is the location for the post excerpt. Like that, and then close that off. And then if I close this off, this is all the code that's needed to generate all this information right here for all these excerpts. It's all we need to do. Really nice and easy. So that's real super. So let's continue. NTT, FC, age, dot operator. And I close off that div. Create a new div. Class is equal to NTT, read, more. Then I'm going to create the read more tag and give it the first post URL link by default, just like I gave up here, I use the first title as default. Well, down here, I'm going to use this read more is actually going to be that thing right there. So I'm actually going to put it in something inside of hreference here. And I might as well just copy this because I just keep typing it over and over. And it's going to be a hreference because it's a link. Like that. Close that off. Dot operator to join these strings. And then I'm going to say I want the first host. And I'll go NTT start host. So that'll get me the information in regards to the link here to the main post. That's stored in part two of that array. And I'm going to have read more be there every single time. Scroll this up. Close that div. Then I'm going to create another div. Class. Actually, I got two divs to close. I'm just using the right side as a reference to what I'm doing here. See? Closing div, closing div. That's all I'm doing. So then what am I going to do? I'm going to put an NTT featured pick inside of here. Class. NTT. Featured. Pick. And close that off. So then I got to create a for loop that's going to generate all the code needed for all the featured picks. Again, have this start out as NTT start post, just like before. It's always going to be the same. Cycle through these as long as I don't come to the final post or up until I get to the final post that I want to put inside of there. And then auto increment J again. So now what I got to do, I got to get the featured image link to the post so that if they click on the featured image, they're sent to the actual post, and I also have to get the post title. So I'm going to go NTT, actually, go like this. So I'm going to surround this with an anchor tag so that whenever the featured image is clicked, you get sent to the post, and you're not displayed the image or whatever. FC, info, NTT, post, number, and then we get two, which is going to be the actual URL for the post. And then I'm going to have image, source, is equal to, close that off. And then I'm going to NTT, FC, info, NTT, J. And then in the array, I have the actual reference to the featured image stored in part three of that array, or index three if you'd like. And go Alt. Don't forget to put the equal sign inside of there. NTT. And then I'm using the title here, which is located in the zero index for that array. Close that off. And then close off the anchor tag. And that's all I need to do to generate all of these featured images that you see right here. So that's what I created right now. So now I got to create all of the thumbs. Just keep adding to this page. Div class is equal to NTT thumb box. And if you're in any way confused by this, it's probably because you didn't thoroughly understand what I had done in regards to creating arrays and putting all that information in arrays in the last tutorial. So just take another look at that. You should be fine. I probably should have said that earlier in this tutorial. All right, so let's generate these thumbnails. So NTT FC page dot equal to div class is equal to NTT thumbnail frame NTT. And then I'm actually going to plug in all of that HTML that we had stored previously. This is going to save me a ton of time. And that's stored in index four. And then I close off that. And then we can continue making some stuff here. NTT. So we got all this done. All of that is finished. So now we're getting down to this part. I'm going to go NTT FC underscore page equal to close the div, just like it tells me to do on the right side of the screen. I think a lot of the problems with people learning to program is just being organized. That is so hard. If you're organized, you should do much better. Source is equal to. We're dangerously close to being done here. So copy that, paste. And of course, this is heavily commented on my website and in the code that I have here. I would never do this without putting any uh, type of comments, but it would just take forever if I was doing these tutorials and also putting comments in at the same time. So I go images, forward slash, FC. So I'm just grabbing the left arrow. This is always going to be the same. I go Alt 
is equal to have back be there as my alt. Close that off. Close off the div. Create another div. Class name is equal to NTT right. So this is a reference to the right button. Image source is equal to and just to break this up a little bit so it doesn't become overly complicated. NTT plugin directory. This is a, just a exactly what it is. It's a link to the plugin directory. And then it's going to jump to the plugin directory for this plugin that I'm creating here, and it's going to go into the images folder. And it's going to grab, in this situation, the right button out of there. Alt text, next, give this a capital B. And then close the div, just like it does over here on the right. Close that guy off. Let's scroll this up so we can see it a little bit better. Now, in the future, I'm going to use something different here than I'm using on my local machine because on a local machine, you can't access URLs in the same way you use the server. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to use later on just so you know how to do this. Featured data one. This is where the first page for the featured content tool is going to be stored by LE. Okay, so in the future, this is going to be used to jump into the plugins directory and then grab this. And then this right here is a reference to the current plugin that this is. Like we're actually in a plugin file right now. So it's going to say, okay, in the same directory where this plugin file exists, I want you to look for featured data one.txt. Okay, so that's in the future. Right now we're not going to use it because on a local machine, you're not able to do that. You have to actually tell it where the stuff exists on a local machine. Just go library, web server, and then I'm going to documents. Eh, let's just do it the whole way. WordPress, WP, so that you know where it exists. Plugins. See, I have to actually go directly to it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this and go NTT, start, so that this is also dynamic. And then after that, go dot .txt, because I'm going to be pulling in a text file. So that's how I'm going to actually grab that. And then i got to open the file, and then I have to write to it. So I'm going to go NTT, FC, I'm going to call it page to write. And you go F open. This is just simple PHP. And I'm going to say I want to open this file right here. Paste that in there. And then I want to write to it. And this is how you say you want to write to it. And if this file doesn't exist, it'll create a new one. And then if you go F write, go NTT, FC. Let's just copy this. Doink, NTT, FC. Page. This is what we've been creating. This stuff over here has been stored in this variable called NTT featured page. And now I'm writing that to this file right here inside of the plugin. And then after you're done, you go F close, this guy right here, and I close the file, and that's it. Got the whole entire thing done, and now this code that we created over the last tutorial, over the last two tutorials, is going to generate all this stuff dynamically based off of information that the user submits. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, until next time.